Well, there it is. Hi, guys. Welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Shadow of Death, Hack and Slash, Black Sheep episode. Seize the Black Shard of the Dread Knight from Marzif to win the scenario. However, if Craig Hack is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Craig Hack is limited to level 15, but will carry his experience, skills, and spells onto the next scenario. Played on hard difficulty, upgraded Orc Tower, 5,000 gold, Greater Knoll's Flail. I'm actually going to go with this, because it just... It's less that I have to worry about getting the resources for and building up, even though the 5k gold is nice, but... I went back to the tavern to give Sandro this ugly helmet he wanted. Now he wants me to get some kind of sword from a death knight. That tin-plated corpse is hiding out in a swamp, so I have to trudge through miles of muck before I get a chance to hack the sword out of his cold, dead hands. He doesn't mince his words, does he, Craig Hack? Ah, you've brought me the skull helmet, Mr. Hack, Sandro exclaims back in the Wingtail Tavern. It's Craig Hack, I told you. And do you know what Barfon told me, said the helmet was his, that it belonged to him and his family? See, didn't I warn you he would lie to protect a mere possession, and he dared to call himself a barbarian? The coward had no honour. I hope his death was the most painful one. Never before have you heard a wizard talk so brutally. Brutally. You frown as Sandro continues. The second item I require is the Black Shard of the Dead Knight. It was stolen from the tomb of a great hero by a deaf knight named Marzif. I pray that you will not find it too difficult to reach him. Marzif li lives in a marshy region. Ah, so our pathfinding is coming through. Very different from the rocky hills you barbarians favour. To make matters worse, Marzif, his allies in the area, we will try to protect him. So he's got allies that you need to watch out for. You stand up and grasp your battle axe. Fear not, I would cut down a host of lizard men through leagues of muck to avenge a warrior whose grave has been so desecrated. One more thing before you leave. I have also allies in this region. I know the leader of one of the region's barbarian towns. He has agreed to let you use it as your stronghold. For the first time you look at Sandro with some measure of respect. The wizard had earned the trust of a barbarian, the leader of a stronghold, no less. And I'll waste no time, Sandro. I'm off to find a sword to go with your helmet. You say as you head out the door. I always thought it's Craig Hack. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's already taught taught me Craig Hack. I have probably even called him Craig a couple of times as well. Uh, let's see, didn't I warn you? Boom. It's uh, one second. Hello, everyone. Hello. So we've got Craig Hack. Wow, look at that attack. He's got one spell power and all that attack. Oh, he's still got some space left for abilities. What was it going to be? I've already got that. Oh, hang on a second. What happened to the path, uh, the navigation that I got from the last level? So that's 1357. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, that's near the end. I swear I got navigation at one point. Maybe I got it and then had to reload at one point, so I didn't end up with it in the end. Why is it that I felt like I picked navigation? Because I know I, I'm sure I did. Strange. Okay, well, never mind. The only reason why I went with it really was just because anything that increases movement speed. And I figured he might have some levels where he's going to require being on a boat. After you load your game once, you didn't visit the hut. Uh, the witch's hut that gave navigation. Do you think I should go do that? I'm wondering if I should go and do that, actually. But which one was it? So it would be the last battle. That's where he goes to take it. But there'll be a hut somewhere. Maybe it was over here. Yeah, you must be right. There must be a hut somewhere. That's a bit of a nuisance. So what we need to do is come over here. Anyone will do. 
and go get the hut. Because even though it seems strange to go out my way to get navigation, I kind of like the idea, because I know I've got all the abilities that I really want to have with him. We need some fast unit. So you can move quickly. Yeah. Because look, he's got logistics, love that. Earth magic, love that. Wisdom, love that. Air magic, love that. Pathfinder. He's basically got those five abilities are my favourites. And then it would be like diplomacy as well. And then the navigation. Expert offence, of course, being fantastic for this character. Huh. See if we can locate the hut. That's got to be it. Yeah! So it must have been some circumstance where I had to go back on my save because something went wrong. But I never went back to get that heart. Oh, there you go. Well, we've got it now. I'm sure... There's no way for me to know in advance without cheating, basically, whether... Um, the character... Wait, wait, wait. Pass that over. Pass that over. Yeah, whether the character's ever going to make use of basic, basic navigation. All of these levels might just be all, all on the ground. But just in case he does have a boat level, he's going to have an easy time with it. And he's got enough um, good stuff to get by. Looks like I've got to do this battle again, though. It doesn't want to let, let me have it on auto. How did this go wrong, though? Eh? Didn't slow everything down, though, did it? These two got out of it. Should be enough. Maybe just waiting that extra week was enough to make me lose. Kakar. Didn't I succeed automatically last time? I think I did. So I've got to do this again, unfortunately. Because it's not going to make it easy for me. Ow. bit suicidal with those. Oh, wow. Thank you for that. I mean, kind of thank you. Yeah, I don't know why he would win this time round. Unless I just got to wait another week or something. Dun, 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 I'm going to come up here, so that should block off the wolves from reaching my horrocks. He won't do too well anyway. Yeah, he's looking strong, this guy. Just hurt himself. I'll do quick combat now, but I'll be scared to see if it came up with a loss. <laughs> Oops, I meant to attack there. There's no way I can lose this now. Yeah, do quick combat. Because what if it came up with a loss? You'd be like, ah, oh, I'm going to do that all again. GG. Orc Tower. Right. So we've got our navigation now. Boom. For those sea levels, which might never happen, but at least I'm prepared for if it does. And he's also got some orcs this time as well, which is nice. We're going to go for behemoths, of course. So Goblin Barracks is needed for that. Do, do, do. There's some boars over here. I think they'll be easier to pick off. 
and then the Horde of Halflings. I might not be able to do both on the same turn. I might have to come back for the Halflings. See if I can do these bad boys. Oink oink, little piggy. Oh my god, yeah. He's got no spell power. <laughs> They're alive. All right, I don't think it's worth having any of this combat for just basically a shield or, you know, a centaur axe. I was just trying to see if I could manipulate it because it's min-max, isn't it? But it's not worth it. So let's move past that. Craig Hack loses on the first creeps. Good game. Can I get a tavern? Nope. The stronghold leader and his clan ride forward to greet you. As you embrace your fellow barbarian in a bear hug, you notice that his eyes look vacant. Although he has only kind words to say about Sandra, you wonder how the puny wizard really managed to persuade this stout barbarian to assist you. Let's go get some of these. Oh, I can upgrade those. Yeah, because I got the upgraded alt out. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't want to lose anything, though. So I might have to avoid some fights. We've got the overpowered few earth ability. So there's wood or gold. There's a base here. A base over here. A base here. So no bases too close to me. So maybe not worry about getting the bases just yet. I'll just get resources. It'd be nice to take those on, but... I think they're going to kick my ass. I could do something like the goblins, though. He still needs more than one spell power, though, because that's so bad. That's one of those few moments where they have those capes, don't they, in the game or something, that increases the duration of your turn, and normally those abilities are crap, because you've almost always got a few points of spell power, so you don't really need it. But this is one of those few moments where I actually do need it. Oh dear. I think I'll come back and go get some more units and then kill some stuff. Right, I'm a bit scarier now. So as long as I could t start taking some things on. There's a chance. The boars lead to crystal, though. Hey, Mardum, how's it going? Snacks. Snacks on a plane. That's better. That was slow, though. I think it is helpful. Just saw the hero survival where you nearly broke the game with Windhawks and Snacks XD. Windhawks and Snacks. Oh, you mean X Hero Siege Survival. I'm not sure about Windhawks though, but I know I had Snacks in that, but maybe you mean a different one. You might have to elaborate, Martin. Thank you though. Might just be better to go off for pure damage.
looks good enough for me. Ten, ten, ten. So I need wood and ore. Those don't give wood and ore, and I might lose. So I have to basically go into battle what first is these. Ah, if I only lose one, I'll take that. Now you need wood. Even eight of them, I don't care. Boom. Scouts report that there are free castles in the region, and rumour has it Marzif is under the protection of one ruled by an order called the Knights of the Blade. Strange. Why would human knights protect a deaf knight? You shake your head, thinking hurts too much. So, technically this is classed as an ally, but it's not really. I'm the only one. It's just how it was written. You don't actually have an ally in this game. I'm on my own. I'm going to go for these, just to see what the rogue camp has. I might buy them. They're powerful units. Not exactly a massive fan, but... Because I'm just going to go with those and behemoths. I want strong stuff. You never know. Shouldn't necessarily have too many different units, but... Can't go too far wrong with some powerful units, though. Could go Freelancers Guild just to get rid of the goblins and stuff. Sacrifice them. Kind of pointless. I just need all, all money towards the behemoths, though. I think these will run off if I try to fight them. Yeah. So we'll go get that weapon for free. Come back and then afford what we need to afford. Probably get the crystal mine after this. Because that's more most important next. To get those resources. Oh man, I'm barely making any bank. So no more behemoths for now. If I had diplomacy, they might join. A lot of back and forth in. We've got to get that advanced or expert pathfinding in this swampy terrain. That's it. That's what we're talking about. Right. You go there, you go there, you go there. Those are completely expendable. Don't care about those. That looks good to me. Give it a cheeky save. The one from the 30th. He was at your grandma's birthday, so you watched it today. 30th, eh? Well, give me a second. Let's do some uh, investigating then, shall we? Oh, there's an easy way. I actually have a spreadsheet. So I can just open that up. So 30th was Blizzard Fix Mountain Giants, please, and Pit Lord Defense. So that wasn't a custom game on the 30th. But there was Heroes War for Domination, and that didn't involve snacks. So you might be thinking of something else. Yes, you might be thinking of something else. Oh, no. Nice. So that's going to be the third, the fourth, oh my, fourth being Friday, I kind of need to have my thing tomorrow. Hello Tainted, what's up? Will I be playing Warcraft 3? Yep, yeah, later. Right, so we've got crystal, I guess we get gold now. Just do everything that can help us build up more behemoths. 25. I don't really like the wolves, although they're not actually terrible because they do have the movement speed. But at the moment, I've just got a ragtag bunch, which I'm, you know, I'm willing to lose. Everything's expendable apart from the behemoths, to be honest, from this group. Ah, that should be spell power, I think, so I'm tempted to go for these. Loses a few of my scrappy units. But I'll take it. I don't think casting spells is going to make a difference to the fight. Advanced Wisdom. 
Oh, no, it's not. Although attack and defense is certainly not bad. I felt like it was affecting spells, but I was wrong. That's brimstone power, power plate or something. Cyclops can't afford that. Leave that for now. Scouts have, report, uh, have another rumor to report. Supposedly, Marzif was a knight of the blade who inherited the black shard, but the cursed sword twisted his soul until he became a death knight. This would explain why the humans are protecting him, but it goes against Sandro's story that Marzif stole the sword from a warrior's tomb. At best, the rumor must be only half true. What are you hiding, you filthy rogues? Yeah, I don't think I should lose anything here. If I feel like I shouldn't lose something, then that's that's how we go. Especially if I've got behemoths. Or nuggets. It's because the rocks just charged in. That's right. Are they going to get another go? Yeah, they are. But I was on defense. No suicidal rocks this time. I'll buy one, because it allows me to see, doesn't it? I think. Oh, it doesn't this time. Maybe it doesn't work versus other rogues. Oh, there we go. These weak creatures will surely flee. But don't need them to flee, because I can kill them. Some good resources here. Right. Next step is resources, so resource silo, and then upgraded behemoths, that kind of deal. I could get a second hero here, just to transport. Oh, Shiva comes back. She was with me last one. Just to transport more and more heroes. More and more units. See? Navigation will come in handy now. Kappa. So you go back. You keep adventuring forward. Ogre Fort gets to the Cyclops. It was the 31st. The last game you played before going offline. Custom Hero Survival. And you had the Spellbreaker character with... Oh. Oh, right, yeah, that goes onto YouTube, that one. I see what you mean. What was played on the stream. Yeah, that was pretty funny. To be fair, she could just go off and take the units and go adventuring, because I think he's strong enough to do his own without her bringing more units to him. Just buy those. And those. See what you can do with that. Oh, one second. Don't have a mage guild yet, and I bet she doesn't have a spell book. Yeah. We'll just give her a day to get a spell book then. You have lost. Yeah. I suspect it as much. They move faster than my behemoths. Are you getting a turn before I'm getting my turn? They're stabbing him.
no cure. I might have to go defense and hope that he can survive. Should be able to. Ah. seem quite persistent, don't they? Well, if you're killing the wolves, I don't care, really. I'm sure I could do this without losing any units, because he was taking all the hits and I almost had it, but the wolves I really don't care about. They always go for like the lesser units as well, it's like, they're just going to get whittled down anyway. Fair enough. Yep, join me. They're supposed to be guarding this place. I lost my rogue now. They're supposed to be guarding it. And they just joined me and turn on the base. Betrays. Keep exploring. You probably won't get very far. Citadel. Do you wish to join? That's what I suspected. This looks like an annoying gate. That will later on in the game seal my fate. Let's hope for snow this month in England. Yeah, it's supposed to be really cold. I was feeling a bit of it, to, bit of it today. Hey, he's not a complete dumbass. He's pretty actually amazing, really. It's just spell power is a little bit lackluster. Too far away from the refugee camp to bother. Could go back for base for more though. Maybe you get something good this turn. Ha! Resources, yes, Plex. Nope. Hey, Ellie Holt, ninety five. Thank you very much for subscribing. Save it before we go pick. Ah, funnily enough, it almost feels like I could go with scouting because of the way this hero works, but no. He is a barbarian and all, but... 
This will kill off some of my... No, it doesn't. I thought it was going to kill off some of my lesser units, although I don't really have many lesser units now. Oh, the fairy dragons will do that. The fairy dragons will take care of those lesser units. Might be able to take that on. Ready? You have lost. Oh, what? I only lost 26. I was expecting to lose a lot more, but there's only two of them. They can be a bit notorious. Yes! See, I barely lost anything there. Money. Oh... We're not losing a behemoth, sorry. Not today. I need to go close enough, because they're probably going to, yeah, stop short of me. Ah, you go for the goblins! What is that decision? You, sir, have just lost. Good day. That was the wrong path. Hello, Diskin. Oh, there we go. Mr... I'm just going to use this gateway. Well, I was going to go buy that, but now I'm not. Because he's going to take my base. And I'm not going to buy units to stop him from doing it. I'll just kill him when I come back. I'm almost done over here. And thanks to the logistics of this good upstanding gentleman. And his pathfinding. He should be able to maneuver this terrain. Much quicker than you would expect. Ah, oh, he just took something that I missed. Uh, uh, there is 46 of them. I just want to replay to see what it is he took. What was he took? I thought he took something. It doesn't show it. I guess it doesn't show it once it's um, been done. It just shows you what his movements were. Right. Let's get back to business, shall we? Oh, I don't think I should have done that. I'll have to reload. Sorry. <laughs> I just got a bit happy there. I, I wasn't paying attention to what I was actually attacking into. Those are doable, but not easy. I might lose something. No. Wow. Advanced scouting for Shiva. Shiva. The most exciting ability in the game. Okay. He's just faffing about. He's not even doing much in my base. That's fine. Did you get City Hall? No, you didn't. You swine. You cheapskate. You could have bought me a City Hall. I wouldn't have said no. Oh. Starting to get quite a bit of gold. I should get a second base or something. So I can afford it. Uh, we'll get a lesser hero to pick up all those bits. Those are mine. Lol. I'll take the other ones in. That are red.
I'll make this a deterrent. Deterrent. That's what I thought. Be prepared to die. Yes, that's right. So we got all that stuff to clear out. So you got Mage Guild level 3. Mage Guild level 3 here. Anything good, boys? I think I... I don't know if he needs to go get those spells. He can't learn anything impressive, can he? I'll come back for the spells. Because then it's done. Oh, this is going to hurt. Do I play any four times games? What do you mean four times games? I guess my answer is no. Please no morale. Thank you. Right, 4x. Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Smack. They can't kill him, surely. No, they can't. He's a Cyclops, baby. Right. Medusa Queens. Thank you, Pixley. Yeah, I enjoy playing it. I mean, it goes to show how well the gameplay holds up, doesn't it? How old the game is, but it's not really relevant because the gameplay is so good and it holds. It's solid. Oh, someone got themselves a blue border gate. So I could go down here, but now I'm being attacked on this side. He's not too bad, though. Shiva might be able to take him, but at the same time she might get... Depends how good his stats are. She could end up getting wrecked. And I've got another... I've got a day seven coming up soon. So I might still come down here with this character. And explore that way and hope that my main characters back at base can take him. If not, she can always retreat or flee. Yeah, it looks like he's faffing about. Alright. Knights of the Blade belong here. The fighters appear out of the underbrush and eye you warily. Do you have permission to be here? And the commander asks. You show him your axe and announce, This is my permission. With that, the commander orders his warriors to attack you. Let's see. The Celeste Knights. We're going to hold on to our mana though. Because I don't know where the next Moonwell is. Nah, I never played Age of Wonders. Uh, did I? I might have actually. Age of Wonders 2, 3. I played one of those kind of ones. Where it's got like the art, the trippy sort of art style. But it's the similar gameplay to Heroes of Might and Magic. There's the captain. I like that they actually put him in there. Because it indicates he's the captain. Captain first to die.
can't really block him. That would be the way to go. Murph on that character. Oh, you be crafty, are you? He's got faster movement speed than me, so he's going to get his turn next. So I could actually maybe slow him down by putting the rocks in front. See if he goes for the rocks instead of my ogres. Yep. Oh, but he gets morale! Bloody hell. Fine. Outplayed by morale once again. What do I think of the other Heroes of Magic games? Two, three, and five are my favorites. One I played as a kid. It's fine. I wouldn't go back and play it now, though. But it did its, its served its purpose of introducing me to the franchise, so to speak. Four is interesting and unique. Don't think it's that great. I don't have many memories of it at all, but it has the best music. So it has that going for it. Six is actually pretty good. Six is very similar to Heroes of Might Magic 3, in my experience. It's like giving the people kind of what they wanted, but it's not going to be as good as Heroes of Might Magic 3. And 7 was not great, because I played the demo of that, and the interface felt very unintuitive. So I wasn't impressed. So I didn't spend much time on that before just giving up. Five is my favourite though. I really like the sort of like the 3D look on it, which is kind of strange because it's done by like a Russian company. Someone else took the helm, and you think, oh, that when that kind of thing happens, they just butcher the game. But they actually ended up doing a really cool take on Heroes of Might Magic, and it had like the same sort of gameplay as Heroes of Might Magic 3 and 2. It just got like the 3D models and stuff like that. And ooh. well, I'll ignore that for now then because it looks like I need a board to get to that. But it had, like, the ability to upgrade models, uh, units into different types, which was really cool as well. I could have bought more units to stop him from taking over the base, actually, couldn't I? That was a mistake. Oh, well. I'll live with my mistake and I'll see if that's me out of the game. <laughs> it might be me out of the game just because of that. Gunner! Uh-oh. He's not got amazing stats, but I can't take him. If I combine, I might be able to take him. Those Cyclopses are so strong, aren't they? This is the only one when you go into these camps. Like, you do most of these, like, the Dwarven Treasury or Medusa Guards. They're not that much of a threat. But when you do these ones, you always end up losing, like, all your units. I think, in hindsight, it makes sense to use your main character last. Because if something does go wrong and you have to load from the latest point, it's the battle that he did. So you don't have to redo any battles that the other characters did. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, you're debating me. I'm gonna go up here, no matter what. Ah. I didn't... Let's see. That's a nice sword. We can try it. How the hell did I win her? I think that's a pretty good result, actually, considering that's 14 and two of them. I'm just going to let that happen. He's got expert path, expert logistics, and advanced wisdom, so at least he can get fourth level spells, if it's possible. Which it is, because the human castles can get fourth level spells. Twenty-eight attack. Go on, girl. Go get them. You sassy thing, you. I want my base back. Do you think um, mercenaries like these, they don't have a negative effect on your units, unlike trogs, which are from another race? She's not going to be strong enough to take him on. But she might be able to bait him out. Certainly got more units. But I wouldn't say it's impossible. Damn. Shouldn't have moved those forwards so much.
Hey Nixon, thank you very much there for the sub. I'm trying to draw them back a bit. I need to kill those goblins. Yeah, one behemoth's gone. If you can survive a hit from the axe throwers, that'd be great. Because then you can get another... Oh, damn. I was hoping I'd get one hit. I was just now between my Cyclopses. And my Cyclopses might not win this. Well, that's pretty damn close. Damn. accept my fate. Well, I might have to redo it anyway if this guy dies. Lol. Yeah. Man. Looks like I have to redo it anyway. I was gonna accept that, but if I get like one shot there, there's not much I can do about that one. Well, the worrisome thing is, is I hope he can get back out of this situation without getting one shot. Alright, hang back. No. I've got to put him in a position. Well, he's got expert logistics, so it's another really important thing why I like to get that, is to try to avoid yourself getting one shot. There we go. So he might have to run that way. Save it on one then, and see if I can just outrun him. I don't think I can take that base on. If we can just run away. Oh, that's a one way. All oh, right. There you go, there's the answer. That kind of worked out then, didn't it? The computer just sort of like pushed me into doing the right thing. Her movement is atrocious. I was worried that she'd be blocking the exact point. Tisk tisk. Oh, you muppet. You passed it over to her. Fine. Screw it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Getting annoyed. Stupid. For that, you get dismissed. Failed. You just fucking sit tight there. And say... Get your stupid nomads and crap. And you go back to base and hide in shame. That's why it's better sometimes just focusing on one hero. 
They'll only let you down. Don't really want to have to fight. In a base. I shouldn't have lost this base in the first place, really, but my exploration got the better of me. There we go. We have to have a really uncomfortable fight. I've still got no air shield. That would be bloody nice. He's got um, Frost Ring there, but he doesn't use it. Right, well, cause. He's got no blind either, have I? At the moment, it doesn't look like I'm going to win this, but my stats are obviously going to be what allows me to do it. Sacrifice the nomads. I might be tempted to kill these because it will keep the gate open. Hold the door. Cure. That'll that'll solve it. You heal him for 15 points of health. Not far off. It was like 25 points of health. Getting line, boys. Getting line. He's still going with haste. Didn't go with like a frost. Arrgh. Yeah, I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Give me some to do. Even they move quite quick, because I've got that ring that increases my speed. That's well, good to know you want to hear us free binge, cos. It's a fun game. Just make sure you've got enough time to play it. Because <laughs> it will take time. Uh, let's do this. I'm taking it back. If he had enough to kill that, then he can sneak through. Well, he can't now, because the goblins are in the way, but... Close. I, I couldn't imagine that auto combat was much worse than this. Maybe I lost more doing it manually. Sometimes you do. And that's not, like it's like an, it's a hard fight to try to do all of that right and not make any mistakes. He did upgrade a whole bunch of stuff though in the base. A couple of bits at least. Okay. Nothing good. Go to sleep.
what to do with you, eh? Let's go take this stuff back then. He's not even that strong. But luckily, they wanted to join. So now he is. That was fortunate. Whole pack of Cyclopses. Ah, whole... Pack of Griffins. Ah, I only went with experience because I got so much gold, but I just realised as I did it. It's pointless. Craig Hack is showing his dominance. Uh -oh. Not everyone wants to join. I missed an art there, a Clover of Fortune. You're right, I did. I get a bit grubby. I forget. Yeah, it's going to be a strong one. Worried about that. Shiva, you might want to get out. Doesn't look good for you. Gonna hop around his area. Logi, 500. Thank you so much there for the uh, resub. If I kill that guy, I feel like I've got a good grip. But I've still only done half the map, so it's not been a super easy level. These levels I can't speed through as easily as the others. If I was really lucky, these Cyclopses might join me. Seems unlikely, though. I can get close enough to find out. Maybe. I don't have rogues in my group, though, do I? Ah, oh, well. Nope, they want to fight. And I'll sacrifice the griffins for it. Seems like a waste, because if I feel like... If I came back... With uh, more units, they might have actually just joined. So I could get, like, 23 Cyclopses for free. Do you think I should try that? I should try that. I know it's cheating a little bit, but it's also out of curiosity. Just to see whether that would actually work. So, it wastes a bit of movement. Shiva. Just going to get chased down. Good old, loyal, trusty gunner. Now let's see if you can do this. Ah... Uh, they don't join. But they do get scared off, so I don't lose more units. I think I should go keep my house in order. By taking this back and fighting that guy. Who has probably split his units up. A little bit. Not much though. He might actually come out and fight me. Gunner could be sacrificed as well, for keeping them busy. Some sort of chugga-chugga going on right now. Why have I got to keep fighting you guys in my bases? I built these bases. Why do I need to sacrifice myself? Sneaky Snitch, thank you very much there. Happy New Year, hope you had a nice holiday. Yeah, I think I did, only. Yeah, I'd say it was good. As it goes. Ah. Good news is, is he's got close to me. Oh, you're having a go, aren't you? I only did this because I didn't really want to lose Behemoths. Smack. Wow. That attack and that offense and those levels, you can tell I'm doing way more damage than I should be doing. This is handy that I can take those out as well and get myself closer. I want to... 
kind of... Hmm, they're not quick enough anyway, so I'll, I was going to sacrifice these. Oh, he sliced through those. He sliced through those. I almost accidentally clicked defend. Kaka, you went for the ballista. Really? What is it about the ballista that made you think that was the target? I guess you didn't want to attack anything that's going to retaliate back and kill you. Maybe? Yeah, I'll leave those. Yeah, that's what would have happened. Take that. Right. Crusaders, down for the count. We have one rock waiting to do something that isn't all that impressive. Finish off the marksman. And finish off the Guardsman. That's better. I only lost one this time instead of three. Which is an improvement, I think, if I can do math correctly. Right, there we go. Cleaned up my house. Oh no, not quite. There is still someone who hasn't left yet, who hasn't got the message that the party's over. You're not going to take that, are you? Ah, there's only nine guarding it. He must have taken a lot of his units. If she had just a few more units, she could have done that. Come back this way. Say hello. OCD. Take the flags back. Looks like I've got this territory now. It's mine. Um, what am I doing with you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Melanda, what are you doing? Are you encroaching in my territory? What are you doing that for? Where's Gunner? way stronger than me. Even if I took the base without losing much, if she attacks into it, I'm trapped. And I'm pretty sure that would destroy me. There's no way to know for sure without doing it, or I just run away. And I have to wait and come back again at some point. This is definitely too tough, this bit. This is where the item is, then. Marzef. Maybe Marzef is in there. I might have to come and do this area. That's way too strong. See you later. I got all this gold, but I need more bases to spend it on. He's going to get me. Oh, you got lucky there.
think we can get rid of these now. Shiver gets away. Is this the second or third part of the campaign? This should be the second level, I think. I didn't actually equip this. There we go. Now he has 31 attack. It's not bad, is it? Fair trade. Okay. It's looking good. Could just hang around for day seven. Wonder if he's gonna come up that way. Oh oh oh. What do you think you're doing? Hordes zounds now. Where are all these units coming from? Looks like I've got to let that base go. Where is Shiver anyway? She's stuck between a rock and a hard place, isn't she really? Oh well, he's going that way at least. I'm going to do some exploring down here then, maybe. Perhaps take my base back before the end of the day. Sounds good to me. Oh, oh, they're a, they are flooding this area now, aren't they? I might need to abandon completely, go down to their territory at the bottom. And kind of swap bases a little bit. I don't think she's going to make it, but she can always flee. Well, that's handy. No escape tunnel. So I'm not sure if she can flee if she's defending, but she's not defending. She's out in the open. Alright, I'm getting ganked again. Luckily this guy has some units. What a waste of energy. <laughs> oh my goodness. When did you start playing video games? What was your first game? Oh, that's a difficult question. Uh, since as long as I can remember, really. I was playing video games as a really young kid, which is why I'm so addicted to them at an eight, older, older age. Probably within like the first five years of my life, I would not be surprised. Had Commodore 64 and Spectrum were my first systems. Commodore 64. Spectrum wasn't technically mine, it was my uncle's. But I played on it when we were over there. Animation speed is actually at the max, Smurfo. I have, don't really know what my first game would have been. It would have been something literally as old as Centipede. You know, you're talking like some of the first... Not quite Pong, but some of the first sort of most rudimentary basic stuff imaginable when it comes to video games. Firewall, maybe? Yeah, we'll see.
I'll just hit him hard. Oh, I'm going to lose one at least, aren't I? So be it. I accept my fate. I've trapped him in now. There's no going back. They're quite tough, actually. I lost both of them now. I did better in the auto combat somehow. I still don't know how that happens sometimes. Maybe I must have sacrificed a whole bunch of goblins and stuff. I'm not too worried about losing those behemoths. In fact, it almost makes me wonder how I win this. I do. But it feels like I've taken so many more losses this time. It's crazy. He'll get killed in a moment anyway. Unless I get lucky and take the space. Yeah, you can't be everywhere at once, can you? I'll start taking your bases down here, boy. I'm going to buy all your stuff as well. You can keep the orcs. Gunners converted. Craig Hack's got everything he needs, hasn't he? I think he's just waiting for Shiver to get killed. So he can decide what he's going to do the next turn. Oh, she doesn't get killed. Weird. Their forces should be split quite nicely, actually. I don't know whether to come back over here and try and take this. I don't think you can. You just need to be in this area to defend. I'm not going to get that capital. Ah, oh, I got blind. Not bad. Oh, there's another base. Take that as well. Happy New Year, Griff. Apparently I'm not good enough. Did they not know who Gunner is? A legend? I need to find a way to be able to sort of pick them off where they're not all ne next to each other. I need to be close by, but... He's really pushing his luck here. They, he does accept. Ah! So she's gone in the base, sounds, so I can kill you. But if I lose... Oh, that's how that happens. Yeah, I was worried about just not being able to beat this one. I need to go back to save. I should have saved it. That is a ridiculously large army. like 20 Cyclopses. Yeah, she's tanky enough that my 
the fence isn't having that much of an impact. How far back was that? This is where you screw up. Because he's now screwed. And I can't stop him from getting killed in that situation. So that's 1315. Why did I just not save it before doing that? 1308 is the latest one. It's not too bad, but it is still quite substantially far away. I think this is before I start getting super flanked by all of these guys. And I didn't know what to do with Mr. Craig Hack. He can't take them on at the top. Yeah, I just got to take main castles, like you say. Shiva needs to escape, if she can. I don't think she escapes, though. She was going to buy all this, wasn't she? So, it's not really that far away. Last time they didn't attack her, but this time they might. Buy what you can. And just get going. Oh yeah. Maybe I don't go forward this time. See, I lost less this time in the auto combat. It's amazing. Computer's just better than me. Yep, Shiva gets to survive. Hopefully he gets blind again. Yep, that's really good. He could go left and take the castle over there. Because that'll be weak. And then that's two castles. I haven't got the lobster yet, Powerful Birdman, but I did call up this morning a place that's in my area that does lobster. And I booked an appointment. Well, I always call it an appointment because I never really go to restaurants otherwise. And I booked for today, but unfortunately I got a call back afterwards saying that they don't actually have any lobsters at the moment in their inventory. But they're hoping to get some by tomorrow or the day after that. And they'll give me a call. And then I'll go and have some lobster. I'm a bit scared though, because I don't really want to have lobster as such. I wouldn't normally eat it. I'll eat it on this one occasion, though. I feel like it'll be quite difficult to eat. Right. The main character is... Where is the main character? Over here. So I could take the portal and sort of pick him off a little bit. So I either take the main base back or come and take over there. I think uh, make a go for it over here. We could maybe sacrifice Shiva. Who will help defend this base and soften him up so I don't lose much in the actual fight. Thank you, man. 
I hope they kill the lobsters before they boil them alive and all that. I don't like the idea of that. And it'd be even worse if they make me pick a lobster. That might actually happen. If it happens, then so be it. But I'd rather not pick the lobster. I don't want to see the thing that I'm about to kill. I'll accept it. There we go. They're getting softened up now. So yeah, just running around in circles taking the computer spaces is normally a good way around it, which is where logistics comes in again. That tactic is a good way to get around playing um, a computer much stronger than where you are. This is a big old level, actually. It's getting back to the three-hour levels, isn't it? Not quite. It won't be three hours, but... It's okay, though. It's a good level. It seems pretty well balanced. Like, I can't just throw it away, uh, overthrow it too easily. Although I do like doing that. They will make me kill it with my bare hands. Got a client, which could be good with Behemoth if it doesn't get killed. No! You took the base just before the day ended. This is fine. Right, that's the strong girl. I wonder if she's strong enough, though. Can I turn around and fight her? That's the question. Oh no, she is pretty ridiculously strong. So we either just run away here, or... I don't think there's a world in which I can take her with this year. You need something like 18 behemoths, 30 rocks, 40 cycles. You know, like, you need bigger numbers. Make a run for it. All my bases are going to be gone. At least he got some spells. I don't think you can take me on. And I thought that. I thought there might be an opportunity to buy one of the computer's heroes. Because the game's gone on long enough, and when that happens, you normally have a moment where you can pick up one of theirs. Do it. Shamu's boss. Is it Subin? Yeah, Subin did quite well for me in previous levels. Good guy, Subin. He might be able to take this base as well, actually. <laughs> so I go from uh, having like no bases, then three bases, and then maybe back to a situation where I've got almost no bases again. Gunner's doing some nice exploring. Should always go at attack. So, where is that hero? Over there. So, I should always be, like, kind of close by to threaten them. As if I'm going to take the base. So then they'll be more inclined to stick around and not move. Oh, he just got Sanctuary. You can actually kill them by not even fighting them, if you get lucky enough. Like, take their bases when they're far away and then sort of make it so that they can't get back to them. Ah, uh, yeah, I did that last time. Need a red border gate. Anyone got red? I think there's only one statistic thing here, and that's over here. Otherwise, the rest of the map, I don't need to take my main character to. It looks like you've got to go underground, most likely, to get the red border guard. It's quite well, this level, isn't it? It's big. It's a big old level. 
think she's done more or less what she wants to do here. Definitely got that. Let's see what it's going to be. Diplomacy. Here we go. <laughs> that almost means you want to just quit the game. Let alone load. That's why not. Where did she go? She's all the way down here. Messing about. She's coming back. Oh no! Shiver. What is that witchcraft? Oh, look at all these spells though. Why is Shiver so talented at everything? Get a capital here then. Fine. Fine. Going around in circles a little bit, but I've got to go underground at some point. Get that red tent. Oh no, lizard men. Gunner. Ganked by the lizards of the men. Why am I fleeing all the time? Because everyone's stronger than me. I'm whittling them down though. But the main thing is I need that red gate. Red border pass. Hey! It's not even far away. There we go. I thought I'd have to go underground to get it. Get that mage guild up. That's a terrible exchange, right? Could have just exchanged there. Their main guy is just stuck in my original territory, but it's not very good for them. bit closer than I'd like. But you've done it now. Town portal. <gasps> I actually did get it. Oh my god. Hang on a sec. I can learn that one here with Craig Hack. So we've got something useful to take to the next level. Just gonna give me your base, are you? Oh my 
I sacrifice her just so I can get a good trade? I haven't got many artifacts on my characters. He's going to get Town Gate now. Well, we've got this base down here. The strong one is up here somewhere. So if we just come over... I've still got to get the Mage Guilds up there. None of those trades are that good, actually. Feels like I'm being ripped off. Oh, wow. Town portal. So I got lucky and got it there as well. Which means I can come over here and kill this one. right in it computer's getting a bit flustered now ain't you yes you are let me back in my base right I'll be back in a second Some peaceful uh, chirping going on in the background there. Right, so you want to attack that base, don't you? I can always town portal down there to try to defend it, but no way I'm going to be able to do that. Shiver. You might want to just be ready to carry on running. We'll see how fast he is. Who's to the left of you? They're not too strong, are they? You could even go over there. Take them on.
And then they really do just have that last guy left. So this is what happens when you run around in circles. Whittle them down until they've got like one guy left. You can't contend with him for some time, but... That'll do. Ooh. Well, of course you've not got enough for tomorrow. Okay. Right. Do you dare try to defend that? I don't think you do. You think you do, but you don't. Still haven't gone underground yet. So I should do that. Not even got that much mana, actually. I should have gone here first. Hmm. Never mind. It's not worth it for just a few orcs. I haven't uh, got the spells here. There we go. Shiva's going to go here. She's going to take this back as she could. Bunch of harpies in the way, though. Nice. Got the base. I could even just get the units from this base and use that as well. So there's, there's better units in the human castles for me at the moment. Draw him to a close. The only thing I don't think I've got him is that spell thing that was over here. No, even then I've got that. So, he's good. Now he's going to split his forces up a little bit. Because that's all he's got left. And he's going to want more units. Doesn't split it up much though, does he actually? What's with these harpies? Boom! Harpies, get on my team. Get on my team, bitch. Get on my team. Boom. Get on my team. Those ones didn't want to do it. Ah, it's those lizard men. Not so strong this time, though. So maybe you don't even have to defeat the computer. You just have to get the actual Black Shard of the Death Knight. And that's it. Maybe that's the whole point of level. Like, I mean, you probably could beat this guy. Also, that's a mistake. Wow. Yeah, maybe you could beat this person with enough time, but that's not... The main objective. They're just there to make you run around in circles and be all scared. Oh well, never mind. Shiver's gone. Because there's nothing on the mainland that I need anymore. It's just wherever this item is. I've got all the spells. There we go. That's it then. Oh. Hang. Clone is tempting, but his spell power is not exactly great. 
We'll go with slow first. Then he'll cast haste on there. Oh, he doesn't. That was his first mistake. He might have not been able to do. Now he's got blind. He's doing it on that instead. Blue. anti-magic thank you very much I'm blinding my cyclopses 31 31 blinded cyclopses I think we just go for it sacrifice the goblins The mighty death knights. Dready knights. And again, I could blind them. And then, no, I can't. Because they're undead. I've got to anti magic you now. Attack. Take the hit for the team. That was fortunate. I got to have my turn with these, because they're slowed. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yep. That's it. Kill the wolves. Alright, vampires now. You lose. It's amazing how powerful that slow spell is, isn't it? Boom. I did it. Yay. GG. 31 offense.